Hey what's up guys and welcome to another series hero episode. I'm going to start this one off by doing some nightmare and I'm actually going to start off by soloing some nightmare kills. They are very very long with my current setup and skill but I don't mind if I do manage to get a drop that would be the most insane profits ever. So I'm going to go for it and hopefully we can get super lucky. But before the video starts I just want to say if you want to join my discord the link to that is always at the top of the description. First kill of the day, let's see what we're gonna get. Oh no, <laughs> 3k pure essence, what is that, like 6k worth? Great, 2643, that is one slow kill. Kill number two, I actually brought a dragon warhammer this time, so let's see if the kill is actually faster. Shark drop, not the best, 24, 24. It is faster, but I've had a 23 minute kill with uh, d claws. Actually, I think I've had a 21 minute kill with d claws. I'm not sure yet, but it did feel decent at least. It's probably not worse. Something I learned from the people in my Discord was that uh, bringing Dragon Claws is actually better than a D Warhammer because I can actually use the D Claws on the Parasite and just killing it instantly so it doesn't actually heal the boss. And that was a 22 minute kill so a bit faster than the normal kills that I do which is usually like 23 minutes. And I did fail a couple of times as well of course during this kill so I can get that down probably even more. So I did like three duos as well and my current kills is just seven now. I did four of them solo and what I'm going to do now is because I can't find a team I'm going to be on the Australian nightmare world which is way less populated than the American one. Yes there's a lot of players here but uh, I'm going to do just a few mass kills and uh, do that in the downtime. Meanwhile there are no duo or trio teams that I can join or even five mans. I have been trying to find a five man but there's just not enough players online right now. But uh, let's do some masses. First round was 5 kills in a trip and I get Saradomi Bruise. Not really what I wanted to be honest. Because uh, with the Blood Amulet of Fury I pretty much only use restores anyway. So yeah that is a bit unfortunate. But uh, I'll just bring more restores next time. And I can probably do 6 or 7 kills in one single trip. Actually just going to take a break from the Nightmare. I mean I only did 17 kills and actually in the mass half of the time I actually got MVP. So that was pretty nice. It wasn't a massive amount of people there but probably around 10 to 15 every time. And uh, I'm still going to take a break now because I want to do something else. The boss is very long every single kill even if in a mass. So it is very time consuming and you don't really get anything most of the time. If you of course do it in a 5 man you have better chances. But the kills are still very long. So I'm just going to do something else now with uh, a bit more consistent money making I guess. Didn't know what boss to kill. I guess we're going to kill the Abyssal Sire. Let's see if we can get one unsired in that. We should technically get one and a half. So uh, let's hope we're not unlucky. I know that it's probably not profit wise efficient to use the Blood Amulet of Fury at this boss. But oh my god does it make this boss smooth. I mean... I brought like 6 sharks and I have 2 left after how many kills did I do? I did 9 kills. 9 in one trip. For me that's insane. I mean I usually did like 4 kill trips or something like that and now I could do 9. And most of it was just the prayer potions. You can see that's my last sip right there. And uh, wow. Okay the blood amulet of fury is just insane at this boss. And it's going to make the tasks way faster and way more smooth. As this is one of the bosses before that I really struggled with. Because it is just such a long task. Because you have to bank so often and all that. But with this I'm going to definitely bring more prey potions and less food. And with blood barrage on the minions and the blood amulet of fury while hitting the boss. You barely use any food. Maybe it actually is worth to use the Blood Amulet of Fury. Look at this. Before the kill I had 6307 charges. After the kill 6292. How many charges was that actually? That's like 15 charges on one kill. That is nothing. I can use this amulet for so long here. 120 kills into the task. There we go. That is the unsired I have been waiting for. Let's see what we get. Let's uh, put the unsired in and see what we get. Oh, bludgeon piece. Yeah, I guess that's alright. The bludgeon is worth quite a lot now, but it's the first piece. I still need two to be able to cash in that money. So no more unsired during this task, but uh, definitely with the blood amulet of fury, as I said, way smoother this time. And uh, in future tasks, we can keep on building on that bludgeon. 
Always have to try to do these tasks for that pet chance, maybe this is going to be the day. I'm not joking, this is my fourth jar of dirt. Uh, can I please have a pet at this point? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, I actually did get it! I, 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 honestly, I did not expect it. Uh, to be to be real, every time I do this, I'm like, yeah, there's no way. It's it's one in three k. I'm not getting it. I actually did get it. Oh my! On one thousand three hundred and twenty four kc. I mean, the chances of me dying here is not very big, so it doesn't really matter if I go to insure it now or if I stay to finish the trip. But yeah, that is. I'll I'll insure it after. I'll risk it. It's just twenty four kc. Let's get this done and insure it for 500k. That is now, I think, five pets. Yeah, the Chaos Elemental, Criara, Kraken, Skotos, and the Hydra pet. Starting to get a decent collection. Oh god, I, I guess we're going back to the Sire. 188 kills is a very hefty amount to do on that boss. It takes a long time, but uh, let's get it done. Oh, there we go, very early into the task, another unsired, maybe we can get the second bludgeon piece, maybe we'll get another one pretty soon, we can get lucky and get a whole bludgeon. Watch this absolute pet snipe incoming, it's going to be back to back kraken pet and then the unsired pet or the, the sire pet. Oh, abyssal whip, that is probably the worst thing I can get, I guess the jar would be worse but... Uh, yeah, I guess it's like 2.7 million, so it's not terrible. Another pretty early unsired. Okay, let's hopefully not get a whip this time. Now this for sure is going to be the pet. Watch this. Pet incoming right here. Okay, bludgeon piece second. That's good. One more. Actually, if I get one more in 129 KC and I get the last bludgeon piece, that is a massive amount of money. Let's actually look at how much it's actually worth. It's 38 mil currently. Unbelievably lucky. Another unsired. What's even my KC? I need to look. 232 KC and I've got four unsired. That's pretty much double the drop rate. If we can get a last bludgeon piece here, that's 38 mil profit right there. I mean, the only thing I really do not want is a jar and maybe a whip as well because it's not really worth that much compared to what I could get. So let's see what we get. Oh, last bludgeon piece. Perfect. 38 mil. That is so much profit, it was a good choice to do Sire. Because I can't put the bludgeon into the bank without it stacking on my already existing bludgeon, meaning I can't put it into my loot tab which is now almost 35 mil. It was the same with the whip by the way, I am just going to make it right now. Oh yeah, oh my god, I have to go back to the Nexus and create it there, I forgot that. Oh, wait, I could talk to him and I get a book, and if I use these parts on the book, I can just make the bludgeon. Uh, why did I not do that last time? I guess I could do that after making the first bludgeon. But uh, let's see how much this is now. So the whip is 2.7 mil almost and the bludgeon 38 mil. So 41 mil profit almost from the sire. That is insanely good. So because there is literally no way I'm going to get three more bludgeon pieces in, uh, well, I have 74 kills left. I'm just going to end it with 268 total sires and uh, in general I pretty much made 50 mil because these are not counted for GP. You can see they're 0 GE price and uh, this is like 40 million from that. So 51.5 million from the Abyssal Sire and I probably only use like 2 million in supplies. I don't really use that much supplies there so that is pretty insane profits. So let's do a couple of quick Corrupted Gauntlets, always that chance of getting the Blade of Seldor of course, which is currently at a very high price, it is currently at a price of 108 million. So uh, and it's a 1 in 400 chance by the way from the Corrupted Gauntlet to get it, I might do like 5 to 10 completions depending on uh, how I feel and how it goes. So, of course, the chance is not great, but if you do a bit of it every time, there is always going to be a chance that stacks up. First gauntlet kill, that is my KC now at 16, so let's get it at least to 20. Decent loot as well, actually. Battle staves and runes, pretty good. Kill number 17 for some coins. Actually, the first time I think I've gotten that big of a coin pile. KC number 18, I'll do two more after this one. Let's see what we get. Decent as always. Actually, that is pretty bad. Okay, this is the one. This is the blade. Let's make it 
counts. Oh, a weapon seed. That is like 200k maybe. I think so. 255k. That's not that bad. So that is the last kill done. My KC is now 20. And as I said in my last video, I just want to do a small amount of Corrupted Gauntlet every single video. Maybe I will skip it sometimes, but uh, I want to do at least a bit of it every time and get better at it. Because whenever I do get that 100 mil drop, it is going to be insane for my progress. So let's see what we get now for the last one. Uh, that is pretty bad loot, unfortunately. So now that I've pretty much completed all the boss slides except for one boss on the second slide, which we'll take a look at in just a second, all I'm going to do now for the series, except of course getting all the money for the Twisted Bow, is stacking up KC on these bosses. So you can see that I have 68 KC on the Nightmare now from 51. Now for the second slide you can see that as always I am still missing the Inferno but the massive increase on the Abyssal Sire from 394 KC all the way to 662 and then we also of course did that Kraken task and added some KC to that boss which I am most likely not going to do more on this account for quite a while. The money is alright but I already have the pet which was the big ticket thing I wanted from that. Now please stay before I end the video. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching my content and if you made it to the end that is amazing and you're actually the person I want to talk to really quickly right now. I would love to get feedback in the comment section if you have the time to do it to tell me a reason why you enjoy my content as opposed to other people that you watch like why do you watch me and not someone else and if there's anything that you actually don't enjoy about my content I would love to hear that as well because I love making videos but I want to make sure that I'm not making a massive mistake with something I think you guys will actually enjoy and how I make my videos and then in fact you actually don't enjoy it and then I would love to just know that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, and of course if there's anything you enjoy about my series then I know that that's a good thing to do. And I just form my videos currently around what I myself enjoy doing. And so if there's anything that's really good about that, that's perfect of course. But if there's something that really is not enjoying, uh, enjoyable to watch, then I will have to think about that as well. Because ultimately I just want to have fun with making content. But of course it would be the best if you guys also enjoyed it. So if you do, please leave a like on the video. That helps a lot. And if you want to see more of my content, you can either subscribe to the YouTube channel or you can click any of the videos on screen right now to get directly to another video. Until next time guys, take care.